After all, we can throw. Yeah, if you want to shoot someone, then shoot sternum. Yeah! <laughs> I'm too good looking to die. I, I want to live. <laughs> Look at the groveling worm, sternum. Is he really worth killing? <laughs> She's right. I'm not worth it. Don't waste another thought on me. Pretend I'm not even here. What a pathetic display. All those years I dreamt of vengeance. And now I realize he's not even worthy of my revenge. The past is dead. And right now, I have more important things to do. Hey. That was clever, doll. Getting me to grovel like that so he changed his mind. How'd you think of that? I didn't. <laughs> You're joking, right? Right? Hey, wait up! <laughs> Power surge from Mantle really fried it. How can we take back control of our defenses from Mantle without Vox? We can't. Who cares about Mantle or the stupid defenses? What are we doing to find my father? As I've said before, your father and the others are gone. Deal with it. Now come to my throne room. Hey! Just who do you think you're ordering around, you big... Pyrus! We are on our way, Rock Lord. <laughs> He is infuriating! He keeps treating us like we're his servants! For the moment, Mantle is in control. But when the time is right... Look at them. Willing to die for me. Oh, it warms a girl's heart. You've got a soft touch for someone so strong. Nothing wrong with that. Good enough. We must get ready to strike again. Take it easy. You're not well. Nothing matters but winning. Winning and power. The only power I want is control of the teleport engines. I've got to get back to the Alliance before it's too late. Uh, exactly what I meant, of course. Look, why don't you rest? I'll go see if Cryos has come up with a new strategy. My men! This is Julia's work. Who else? Her lust for power destroys all in her way. Uh, not to interrupt a terrific, dramatic moment of hatred and all, but, uh, where the heck are we? Wherever I wish us to be. I control the teleport engines. Julia finds that intolerable. Ah, so that's why there's been no rescue ships coming after my precious self. Take us back. Now. I cannot. We came across you the first time by chance. If you lie... Never to you. Stand with me, Jade. My duty is to return to the Alliance. Once I've avenged Graveheart and Cryos. Something only I can help you do. Then, for now, I will fight at your side. You mean we gotta live in this revolting place? Julia won't stop at this. We must prepare for her next move. Oh, well, don't ask my opinion or nothing. I say, let's find a nice safe hole and crawl into it before... <laughs> hey, somebody get me out of this hole. If you're worried about Fox, don't be. The technicians on ice are the best. I have no doubt that Vox is in good hands. Then, what is the matter? I am a fool. I led us to this. It's not your fault. We all trusted Jade. In betraying you, she betrayed us all. Still, it is not the first occasion my judgment has proven faulty. This time, the consequences were disastrous. Hey. 
Hey, don't sweat it. We're all feeling pretty burned right now. A force field generator? But why? You never know what you might run into. Ah, Graveheart. I convinced one of my former subjects to get me these blueprints. I have been reviewing them, and I've... Uh... It was as she said. There was no sign of Jade or Fema. None. There must be true, Cryos. If Jade were alive, she'd have found some way to let me know. I don't know who this sternum is, but I swear he's going to pay. First, we must locate the teleport engines. Once we have done so, we will exact whatever vengeance is necessary. We need a plan. Julia's not gonna stay put for long. About Julia... Is she... Recovering. She's tough. I'll give her that. Indeed. One could say beyond tough. She's had to fight hard to survive here. He's right. You have to be tough to stay alive. The battles, the war, it keeps your heart racing. But once this is over, perhaps we can find another way? Perhaps. You kept me waiting, alien. Jade never kept me waiting. Don't you talk to us about Jade. Jade understood the true meaning of loyalty. Something you need to better instill in your people, boy. And don't tell me how to run my kingdom! Why did you send for us, Lord Mantle? To show you what Jade already knew. That the Alliance can only triumph under my command. You are here to watch me crush the beast planet. Work hard. Your men respect that. As I respect them. We all work hard here. We have to. We depend on one another. Uh, don't listen to him, Toots. You, you can't trust him. He'll stab you in the gizzard and hang you out the... Push me one more time, little brother, and it will be your last. Now get to work. Mantle. Nothing has changed in our power or weaponry. How can you destroy the beast planet where we could not? Once I restored power to your weapons, your fleets drove back the drone armada. Nothing stands in my way now. It's a trick. They just want to draw us out where we'll be easier targets. No! It is because they fear me. I will focus the power of my battle moons against the beast in one all-out concentrated attack. You're sending the battle moons? Even as we speak. You can't do that! All my people are on those moons! It is already done! Oh, you tyrant! Ah! You know, doll, you may not think much of me as an emperor, but things was really rotten back when Sternum was in charge. Mm-hmm. No, really. He was hard as an emerald. Vicious as a rabid bloodworm. Sternum was worried about me being second in line for the throne. So he was having me carted off to be executed. But lucky for me, my, uh... Courage won over Sternum's guards. We fought a vicious battle, my brother and me. But I finally won. Then, in a gesture of great mercy, for which I am so well known, I spared Sternum's life and sent him back in here. I did away with his corrupt regime and replaced it with my own. 
Mm-hmm, so you say. But people change. Maybe Sturnum has as well. Oh, yeah, that chance. Then explain why you aren't dead. He's just toying with me. Wait until I let my guard down. Fema, make yourself useful. <gasps> no! Yeah, that's why I'm telling you. You'll see! The attack begins. Now! So, mental Dixie's moons can destroy us, huh? <laughs> Excellent. Without them, we will crush his world and then the race. service tunnels throughout the complex. We could use one of them to attack from beneath. Like Sternum wouldn't notice. Not if you mount another frontal assault at the same time to keep him occupied. While Cryos and I lead the tunnel attack. Good enough. Let's go. So bring back the battle moons before it's too late! That is the coward's way! To retreat at the first sign of adversity, we will hold out until the moons succeed! Then send for the other fleet! Never! I have the strongest planet, the strongest warriors! We will win, or we will die fighting! has been sealed off. Nothing this baby can't handle. Uh, if you'd like, I could uh, check out the rear. My underground sensors have been set off. There's a second attack in the tunnels. Go! I'll hold them here! Stop your sniveling. Put aside your cowardly ways and feel the blood rush through your veins. Hey, better through my veins than on the floor. Cover Jade's back or answer to me. No problemo. Hey, I got your back covered, Tuts. That's a great comfort. Send for the moons! It's the only hope we've got! 
defeated by now, they never will. No! Just a little longer! I cannot be sure where the teleport engines are located, but I can make an educated guess. That guess is the last you'll ever make. Sternum, it is you. Cryos, slumming it, hmm? And you? Name's Graveheart. I'm the one who's gonna make you wish you'd never been born. You want a piece of me? Come get it. The engines? That's all you care about? You killed what I care about. And I'm here to take it out of your hide! Braveheart's precious Jade. She is alive, but not for long. If Block wins and gets a hold of the data crystal, our defenses are useless. We cannot let that happen. No matter what it costs us.